Hello everybody and welcome to my 41st VBA 2000 and Hand tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use the before save event. So in order to do this again we just go into our this workbook object click on workbook and then go to the before save one get rid of our workbook.open and then this is going to give us our event so before we save it we get this uh, this code is going to run. Uh, we get two parameters passed to us, so save as UI, uh, just ignore that one for now, I'll come to that one in a minute, and then cancel is just the same as how we've used cancel before. So in this example I've put a little insert your name and a box to put the name in, and what we're going to do is if that box is empty, uh, so if this workbook dot sheets home dot range b1 dot value equals nothing then what we want to do is just message box out to the user you need to fill in your name before you can save and then we're going to take that cancel the, uh, boolean variable and we're going to set it equal to true and then when we try to save this now, it's going to come up with this message that says, you need to fill in your name before you can save. And we go, OK, I'm going to fill in my name, do whatever you say. And then when we try to save it, it's going to save perfectly. So that's how you'd use uh, the cancel and the before save. Uh, what I want to do now is just show you the save as UI. So um, if you go into the the help page for this, the Excel help, then it's going to say true if the save as dialog box will be displayed. But as I'll show you now, uh, if we set it equal to true and then we try and save it, it's not going to display the dialog box. So goodness knows what it's on about in the help, um, but it doesn't actually do that. So I'm just going to show you how you would actually use, actually get it to prompt for the dialog box. So first of all, uh, we're going to turn off our events, so enable events equals false and then just before we forget just put them back on again at the end equals true and so we, what we're going to do is we're actually going to cancel the save here so cancel equals true so the, the save that the user's trying to do, we're going to get rid of, but then what we're going to do is we're instead going to prompt the user for the, the with the dialog box. So to do this, we need to put in a dim file name string, and then we set file name equal to and application dot get save as file name. And what this is going to do. Uh, is it's going to give us, it's going to come up with the dialog box and then once the user's filled it in then they're going to put in the file name here. So then we can save as, so this workbook dot save as and then we want to put in the file name and then at the end of the file name we just want to put dot xlsm so that it saves it as a appropriate workbook and then we're going to put in this workbook dot saved equals true just set in the property of the workbook so that it knows that it's saved uh, and then that's it so now when we try and save it it's going to come up with a dialog box uh, I'm going to save it as test save click save and then it's going to save it as dot dot xlsm. So when we go into our folder now we'll be able to see a dot xlm sitting here and we can access that just the same as, um, as normal. So that's how you use the before save event. Uh, as I've said before there are lots of different events in here. You've got ones for when pivot tables happen, you've got after save, when add-ins come in. I'm not going to show you all of them because there's really no need. I think now you've got the idea that you just select your your um, 
your event from the side and then whenever that event happens you just need to make sure you've got your code in there appropriately so if you've got any questions then please let me know drop them in the comments below um, but that's it for events now and uh, I hope to catch you in the next tutorial where if we have a look we are going to be going through user forms so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial